Uh, look what I found at uh, my fraternity brother's place. Um, this is a comprehensive list of uh, the audio dramas I did while I was at WBAI. I started from uh, 1986 uh, um, when uh, I first uh, uh, trained Creative Unity Collective, and they became the core group for um, well, for the uh, for the for the pieces. Uh, if you might note that I produced all these pieces, but uh, I did uh, other tasks while doing the pieces. The first one, 1986, was The Night Racism Ended, which was original by the Creative Unity Collective. They're, they're the ones that wrote it. I produced it and engineered it. Then we did uh, Day of Absence. Uh, that was I produced, directed, adapted, and engineered that production. Uh, we did a thing called The Case of the Ornate Vial. Great, great piece. Creative Unity Collective, they wrote it. I produced, directed, and engineered it. 88, we did uh, Richard Rice, The Long Dream. I produced, directed, adapted it, and engineered it. Also, that uh, thing, we did a, a piece, um, uh, The People Who Killed King by Mark Hyman. We brought him in. I produced and engineered that. Creative Unity uh, helped, um, well, they, they acted in it. Uh, also, well, in 1989, we did we did The Eve of Christmas Eve. It's an original piece by Creative, Creative Unity Collective. And I produced, directed, facilitated, and engineered that. Also, we did Three by Do, short stories by Henry Dumas. Uh, I produced, directed, adapted, and engineered it. Again, all these pieces, the Creative Unity Collective, were, were the main actors in it. We had other actors, but they were the main actors. In uh, 1990, we did Larry Neal's Glorious Monster and the Bell of the Horn. But this one, we did scene from it. That wasn't a piece, the piece that I finally did. As a film piece, I produced, uh, uh, directed, adapted, and engineered it, and that's I guess what gave me the idea to do it uh, finally as a, as a full piece. Um, in 1991, uh, that's when I became arts director. That's when you notice things changed. Up until then, I did basically what we call black pieces, if you will, because that's my, you know, that's my thing, right? 1991, uh, I uh, did uh, Richard Rice's Law Today. And, well, let's start from the earlier. The first thing I did was uh, George Orwell's Animal Form. I produced and engineered it. Uh, I, who, uh, uh, what the, who adapted it? Uh, I guess we just went straight from the book. Uh, Operation Welcome Home was an original rap opera. It was an, an original rap opera produced, directed. It was a staff writer to put Community Collective along with, I think, Jay Smooth were, were the writers. Uh, I also did, that's the same time I did the huge uh, Richard Rice Law Today and The Outsider where I produced, directed, adapted, and engineered it. Uh, woo, that was a huge production. That was like a graduate. Well, let me go back and say something. That, that, the, when we did um, when we did The Long Dream, that was like a um, that's like a graduation present for Creative Unity Collective. There's about four young, um, four men coming of age, four, four boys coming of age, and they played the four boys. Uh, it's hard to explain this stuff. But when I did um, when I did everything for the Lord today, the outside that was like a graduation present to myself as far as audio drama goes. Uh, Operation Welcome Home again was an original rap opera. Uh, that was that was where we famously had uh, Sophia Bendelli and uh, James Small as the as the Orishas in that piece. That was done live at the New and Post Cafe. Uh, we did like I said, we did Animal Farm. What else did I miss something from there? The yeah, Larry Okay, great. Um, then we then 1992 now. Uh, this uh, Afil de 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 uh, Vaje, that's, um, in Spanish that was done at uh, the U University of, uh, of Mexico or the radio, or the, the National Autonomous University of Mexico. That when I produced, facilitated, staff writer, and stage managed that that was done in Mexico City. Uh, that's what also we did in North, um, and that was in Mexico, as I said. Um, um, was it the oh? Uh, the Phantom Tollbooth was done that year. That's the great piece piece that uh, we had when we had. <laughs> that's when uh, we had uh, Doctor uh, Doctor Kenneth Mills came down from the audience. We had uh, audience participation. But uh, let me remember Susan Brown was one of our DJs. We brought, they played the Lothardians and that to produce the piece. That was a great piece uh, at the Public Theater, and I produced uh, co co adapted and and stage managed that particular thing. Oh, I didn't direct that one. That was interesting. Um, we did um, that year. We also did Mark Twain's Putting Head Wilson. I really liked that piece. I produced, adapted, and engineered that piece. Uh, we did uh, Lewis Carroll's uh, Alice Adventures. That was both things like the uh, Adventures in Wonderland as well as Look Through the Looking Glass, the Alice stories. I, I produced, uh, co adapted, and engineered that. I think that was who directed that? I think uh, Andrea 
Oh, what's Andrea's last name? Andrea uh, directed that from the arts department. Uh, okay, 1993 did Emerson Stoller's Wine Palm Wine Drinker, produced, directed, and adapted that. I also did uh, that. We did the Carl uh, Collodi's uh, uh, Pinocchio, the original Pinocchio, uh, from his book, and I again uh, uh, produced, directed, and adapted that piece. That was uh, interesting. Oh boy, that was something. Uh, we also did Brother Minister. That was an original that uh, that um, Creative Unity wrote. I was staff writer for that. Also produced, directed, engineered that. Um, then we did the oh uh, the, the coming plague. Uh, produced, director, and staff writer for that, and that was done uh, in uh, Dhaka, Senegal. Actually, that was done as well. It was done in Dhaka, Senegal, as part of the uh, uh, Armagh conference there in, in Senegal. And then, well, then, then I did uh, uh, Larry Neal's Glorious Master Bell Horn. That was the last big thing I did for WBAI. Uh, the Leavings Project. Uh, it was an original. Uh, I never really, we never really produced it fully, uh, so it never really uh, materialized. But that was, I was supposed to do that, but we, we had some logistics problems. But uh, that was on the boards. That's it. So those are all the live or uh, audio dramas or radio dramas that I did while I was at starting, starting my radio drama career. I guess well, my live radio drama career at WBI, and on from there, uh, did some incredible stuff overseas, whatever have you. So there you go. Well. What can I say?